What's up everybody, it's Seth from Fowler Customs and today I'm reviewing the brand new Adidas City Sock 2 Ronin. Thanks so much for tuning in today guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't yet, but with all that being said, let's get into it. So today is another one of those semi-annual Adidas NMD drops where they drop like seven different colorways of the NMD and they usually all sell out pretty much instantaneously. There's a bunch of NMD R2 colorways and XR1 colorways and of course a couple City Sock 2 colorways. Hey baby, what's up? Yo, let me call you back in like 10-15 minutes. Alright, sounds good. And of course, you knew I had to go around the city to grab a pair to review, so I hit up all my favorite sneaker spots, and of course, the one that's been consistently coming through is Kit. Dude, they always have everything. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand it, but these guys are just sitting on the shelf, so of course I had to grab them. So enough with the small talk, let's get into the review. So here it is, the NMD City Sock 2 in the Ronin colorway. This is not my first pair of the Adidas City Sock 2s. I've got a pair of the Kith and the Naked collabs from a couple weeks ago. I just grabbed them off the Restocks app. Don't know how that happened, but it did. Right back there. Actually, you know what? I have them right here. Let me show them to you this way. <laughs> right here. I've yet to review these, but rest assured the review is coming. But moving right back into this colorway, of course the upper is full primed it, and yes, it is a sock-like construction, so you don't have any laces. It's all a one-piece upper. A majority of the upper is draped in what Adidas is calling collegiate navy, but it's also got these lines or ridges of thicker primed it that are actually a darker shade of blue. The best way to describe these darker blue ridges is that they're almost exactly like what you find in the Ultra Boost 3.0. Of course, the most standout feature of the shoe is a circular embroidered pattern. This embroidered pattern is actually the same exact pattern that you find on the new XR1s and the new NMD R2s, and I believe from some leaked images, it'll also be on the new Ultra Boost 4.0s. And I don't really like this pattern on the NMD R2s or the XR1s, or even the 4.0s for that matter. I just feel like it's too overbearing. But what they did on the CS2s with this sort of circular area, I think it looks really great. It looks more like a detail than just an overall pattern. I really like that Adidas is exploring different ways of detailing their uppers, and on the City Sock 2, I think it looks dope. Moving back on the shoe, you've got the sock-like white and blue collar, which is very similar to what you find on the R1s and on the CS1s. However, on the CS2s, it actually does something kind of cool, and it wraps around on itself and gives you this really cool sort of moccasin detail, which I actually really dig. In fact, I think I like the CS2s better than the original City Socks because they seem a little bit more refined, a little bit cleaner. I just think they're an all-around nicer looking shoe. I would really like a pair of those original City Socks though, like the black and white ones. Those are sick, but resale is crazy, so I'm just gonna let them go. On the inside of the shoe, you've got that same insole you've had on just about all the previous NMDs, which honestly isn't really even an insole because it's more of just like a thin piece of material that has a couple punch outs so you can see through to the boost. Doesn't really do anything for you, it's just kind of there so you're not walking on straight boost. One nice touch about this colorway though is that rather than making it that sort of standard insole fabric, they actually gave it sort of a Vegeta tan faux leather look which I actually think looks really nice. It contrasts the blue really nicely, but you're never really gonna see it, so it's just a nice detail, I guess. Because we're talking about the inside of the shoe, we definitely need to talk about fit. One thing about the City Socks, and honestly any of the Prime Knit NMDs, is that you definitely wanna go down half a size, especially in the City Socks, because they don't have laces, so if this doesn't fit you, and it's kinda flopping around on your foot, you have no way of tightening it. And unfortunately, I was only able to get this in a size nine, which usually is my true size, but with the City Sock 2s, and I noticed it specifically on the Kit City sock too. I went down half a size in this and it fits so much better. This one didn't fit terribly, but like I said, there was just no way to tighten it and it was definitely flopping around whenever I lifted up my foot. So from personal experience, I would definitely suggest going down half a size, if you can. I know the resale market's tough and you might not be able to find every size that you want, but it's worth it. Moving around to the back of the shoe, you've got this really nice pull tab. It's actually made of this pretty thick faux leather. It's the same shade of brown as the insole was, and it contrasts the color of the blue really nicely. And an interesting detail is that rather than printing on the brand with three stripes, which I usually do, they actually laser etched it, so it's a little bit more subtle. Because you've got so much going on in the front of the shoe, it really helps to balance out the whole shoe with a nice subtle hit on the back. Moving down the shoe, it looks like Adidas borrowed the NMD R2 outsole for the new City Sock 2, which means you've got no pods on the lateral side, only a slight deboss of where the back pod used to be. And then on the medial side, you still do have a back pod, except this time around it's a lot beefier. I honestly don't know what that does. I'm assuming it's for some sort of heel support but I couldn't tell you for sure. It's also a slightly darker shade of blue than the Collegiate Navy. I think it matches more to these sort of darker navy lines that are running along the shoe. And then finally moving to the outsole of the shoe, they gave it this standard NMD R2 outsole, except this time it's got sort of a translucent yellow or sort of creamy translucent color to it. I actually don't love the color. I kind of wish they had given it a gum outsole to match the other hits of brown on the shoe. 
but it is what it is. You're never really gonna see it, so it's not a big deal. Overall, this is a really clean shoe. I love what Adidas is doing with the City Sock 2. I think all the improvements they made were welcome improvements. All the refinements looked great. I love it. I think it's great. If you're trying to grab a pair of these for yourself, you may still be able to find some laying around in some specialty sneaker stores, but I wouldn't expect them to be just sitting in Foot Locker. I could be wrong, you never know. But if you're trying to grab these for resale, the resale really isn't bad. I think it's around 220, 200. So if you really wanna grab these, it shouldn't break the bank. Now that we've got the review out of the way, let's throw these guys on feet and see how they look. That's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you think of the Adidas City Sock 2 in the Ronin colorway and whether you're planning to grab one for yourself. If you're interested in what camera equipment I use or what lighting I use for all my videos, I made sure to put all those links in the description below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to Fowler Customs if you want to see more content just like this. And follow Fowler Customs on Snups, Instagram, and on Twitter.